Hi everyone. So Marguerite asked a great question today around how we can send a one-off check-in email if we had any lessons around that or how to do it. So what I thought I'd do, I'll take you through the tech of how we do that and then we can talk a little bit as well about what you would include in that email. So we're going to go over to broadcasts on the left hand side. And we're going to create a broadcast. So this is just like any time we do a one-off email. Um, but I highly recommend in your Keep Pro account not to use this version of the builder. Um, I just find it to be, if it's just a text email and you want to send it really quickly, you can do it like this. But for some reason, the merge fields, the way they work here are different <clears throat> to in the advanced builder. And the reason I would like you guys to get used to the advanced builder is if you do ever upgrade to Infusionsoft, it's identical. So you'll be used to using it and it won't be so daunting the first time you look at it. And I still find this to be the nicer way to work with the email builder anyway, because you've got your templates. You can see ones you've sent in the past. Um, any drafts you need to pick up, you can pick up from here and you've got your templates you've saved as well. So we can just choose, we'll just choose a text template because it's simple to play with. And if we just want to mass blast our whole list, we don't want it to go to a specific range within our list. First, as always, we're going to make sure it's coming from our email address that we want it to go from. And then we're going to do a new search. But rather than searching for any criteria, we just press the search button and that will bring up your entire list without any filters. So that'll be absolutely everybody. And then we create our email as normal. So it might be um, a COVID check in or just a check in. I think everyone's sick of the word COVID, to be honest. Um, we could just call it a new life check in. Um, check in. And then we can put our email in here. Same as the other builder and campaign builder. We can put our images in, like logos, things like that. Um, any kind of image we want to put. There's a good one from yesterday. My sister-in-law made us some new masks. So, you know, you could just put in a however you want to do it and set it up like that. And then we're going to do a preview and just see how this is going to look on all devices. So we want to check it first on desktop and then on mobile. Now, personally, with the images, I like to make sure they go all the way across. Um, not really sure why, just a personal preference. I like them to be symmetrical. <laughs> or to match the edges so it's all, it all looks like one kind of connected piece because when you're scrolling on mobile it looks see like that it just fills the space so it looks a bit more connected um, but you might prefer it to be separate so that's your choice um, you would complete your email as normal um, so you can just take this out just see how you are and then we can do a review and send. Now in here, remember, you can still schedule it. So if there's a specific time or day this week you want this to go out, it doesn't have to be now. You can schedule it for another day. You can schedule it for a specific time. And then you can choose use contact time zone because some of you will have contacts in different places. And this way they always will all get it at the same time as each other in their own time zone. Um, and then you can just press schedule or you can do send now or you've got send at the best time today. This is based on the open rates in your inbox. Um, if you haven't been sending a lot of mail, it's not going to have that much information for you. So I'd, I would just send it now personally um, or schedule it for later. And that's it. That's how we send it. In terms of what we want to include, you could look at it as the nine word email just framed differently. But I think if you're sending this to be more authentic, if this is coming off what we spoke about in the blog post yesterday about just checking in, I wouldn't really be looking for any kind of template or anything specifically. Because if you can imagine, if you could find a template within two minutes of Googling, a lot of people have used that. And I just think it feels nicer as a client to see something authentic, to ask somebody how they are. Just be yourself and ask check in, just say, you know, how are things going? How's home? How's, how are you finding things? Just let us know, um, just as a check-in. So I hope that answers that question. If you have any more questions around broadcasts, I can do a deeper dive into this. Um, I'll also put this under the fundamentals section in the group so you can find it for, yeah, any, anytime you need help finding or sending an email broadcast as well. Thanks guys.